That looks amazing. So that's pounded. And then you just cut it kind of like how much you would put in a bun. You can do it like this. And that's it. Uh, you need uh, two boneless chicken breasts and then you need one cup of buttermilk. One cup of buttermilk right here? Yeah. And then one teaspoon each of paprika, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. I'll write it down so people know. And then we're going you to... You mix it all in this bowl? Yes. And then you're going to dip the chicken in there? We're going to marinate the chicken. For how long? You can do it right away. You can cook it right away if you want, but the, the longer it marinates, the tastier it is. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be the breading, right? Yeah. yeah. After the marinade's over, you put it. Yeah. So what do you need for the breading? We need for two. No, we're doing how many? No, no, I'm gonna do it for two because it's confusing. So for two um, breasts, you need one cup of flour. Yes, we're doubling it, so I'm don't forget what Ava's doing. And then half a cup of cornstarch. I don't even have it open. It's a mess. Put this in here. Okay, but well you're putting how much paprika? Ah, I'll put it below. Here, keep going. <clears throat> it's a tablespoon of each. But are we doubling it? Yes, you're doubling it, but we're, it's a tablespoon of each for two chicken breasts. So we're going to do a tablespoon of paprika, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, if you want it spicy, you can put less if you want. Yeah, we like it spicy. And then a teaspoon each of salt and pepper, mm. and that's it. I'm not going to do the whole tablespoon of cayenne because these the kids are not going to eat it. So I'm just do a teaspoon, right, Ava? Is that okay? Because sure. we need two tablespoons. To what? Should I should I do a little bit more? Mm. That's onion pepper. Oh, that's gonna be nice and spicy. <laughs> Did you put the salt in there already? No, no, we'll do the salt now. Here we go. Here's a teaspoon. So this is only one teaspoon, right? Well, yes, that's right, one teaspoon. But we're putting two because we're doubling it. You're getting everybody confused. Me, you're confusing everybody. I had everything. I was saying just do it the way we're doing. And well, pepper? not everybody wants to eat eight pieces of chicken. We're just a lot of people. Ava, I can open that up. Oh, you got it? Yep. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. A special blend. Okay, you're making the spicy mayonnaise mm -hmm. now, right? Yeah. Spicy mayo, so that would be half a cup of mayo, one teaspoon of any hot sauce you have. For some reason, that's the only one we have right now. I have a lot of hot sauce. I, mean, I know, but we don't want to do the extra hot. And then one teaspoon of paprika or something spicy like a Cajun spice, if you want it more spicy. We're just doing paprika today. And half a teaspoon of garlic powder and that's just the spicy mayo to put on top of your burger chicken sandwich it's not a burger your chicken burger it's a chicken sandwich <laughs> and uh, I'll just put a little on we're this. gonna get bored now we're going to start assembling the chicken getting it ready to fry oh you're putting a couple spoons of that yeah in there and what's the reason behind that because it makes the batter that that thick crispy batter when you have a little bit of How much? the wet so just two to three. Oh no we doubled it so like five or six you can mix it a little bit okay so i'm just going to um dredge the chicken in the flour mm -hmm. mixture is that a right, a good spot for you, or what are you doing? What's yeah. wrong? Perfect spot. You're going. 
So basically you're just making sure that it's gets yeah, a make, Yeah, get it good. I want my chicken extra crispy. Ooh, that looks good. You're right. You see all the wet, all the little crunchiness? Plus, it could be a hand model. Oh my god. Stop it. I haven't had a manicure in like a month and a half. Uh, you have a manicurist right here next to you. Get her to do it. Okay, we're here to talk about Popeye's chicken, not your fingers. Look at this beautiful chicken. All right, so we're gonna, you're gonna check the oil and then start frying these, right? It's going to. Wait, 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 wait. sorry, can we start? Yeah, I'm just going to deep fry the chicken. I mean, you can fry it regular, but I just like to deep fry it so it's even. Can you be specific? I just like a deep fry pillow, that's all. How long do you have to keep it in there for? Uh, I don't know, I'll let you know when it's done. I think maybe five minutes, three to four, five minutes. I don't know, it depends how hot your oil is. You gotta check it out. I always cut one chicken inside just to make sure. Hey, but you're even buttering the buns. That's pretty good. See what it looks so far. Damn, that looks good. That looks amazing, Tad. By the way, I ate the other half of that piece that's missing, and it was good. Good job, baby. So you have to fry um, for about five to six minutes. I checked the time. Ooh. Pretty good. Look, that looks crazy, eh? Mm. All right, let me put my sandwich together, and I'll show you. Wow. Oh, it was putting put it together? the perfect Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> yep. Lettuce. It's up to you. It's your sandwich. Put it. Even though that's not how they do it at Popeyes, but you want lettuce, put lettuce. I should have put it on the bottom. Oh. That's what I messed up. All right, I'll delete this. What'd you do? Okay. Just put it together. There's your Popeyes chicken sandwich. Wow. Good job, guys. Better than Popeye's, Ava. Better. Mm -hmm. Not that we know. We're in Canada. We don't have it yet. <laughs>